is one of my favorite cookbooks. I remember I got it at Half Price Books when I was chasing my kids around. This book jumped out at me. It has this very pleasant looking, content gentleman on the front. You can tell that it's French inspired. This book inspired my recipe. So Brother Victor Antoine de Villa La Tourette. I probably butchered that. My French is a little rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Victor Antoine, wherever you are, thank you. I got to tell you, before I picked up this book, I wasn't even thinking about making crepes once a week. <laughs> this is the biggest bowl I own, eight quarts. I'm making a double recipe. I want a big stack of these things in my refrigerator. They're great for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. It's a comforting feeling to have a big stack of crepes in your refrigerator. So let's start with the four eggs. One cup of egg whites. Four tablespoons of olive oil. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Now this is Bob's Red Mill millet flour. This is Bob's Red Mill graham flour. No matter what kind of healthy flour alternative that I use in this recipe, buckwheat, millet, Graham, whole wheat, spelt. If my kids are around when I'm making them, they're grabbing them off the plate faster than I can put them on the plate. This time I'm going to add one cup of millet flour. A pinch of salt. Vitamin D, whole milk. Four cups. Three cups of water. Now I'm going to hit it with the immersion blender. This definitely takes care of the lumps. So I have a 10 inch pan here. I'm going to put it on medium heat and let the pan heat up. This is the ladle I use. I measure it out. It's a third cup ladle. As I'm making crepes, I stir the batter in between each one. I put a little olive oil into the pan. I grease the pan maybe after every third crepe. I'm expecting the first crepe to come out kind of ugly because it always does. I'm using a crumpled up coffee filter to spread the oil around the pan. I'd rather waste a coffee filter than a paper towel. I'm swirling the pan around until it can't swirl anymore. I'm looking at this crepe for when it's ready to flip. Now this crepe is nice and it's, it's solid in here. And it's starting to brown a little bit just on the edge. The edge is coming up a little bit. And I could tell this one's ready to flip. This is the part that takes a little bit of finesse. This is the way I flip crepes. So I'm lifting the edge, and then I pick it up with my hands, I just flopped it. <laughs> so the reason I flopped this first crepe <laughs> is because I didn't let it cook long enough in the pan before I flipped it. Try crepe too. Okay. It's starting to come up all around now. Oh yeah. There we go. That's our first one. Looks good. Now we have our first crate. There we go.
Ooh, ooh, is that a flop? Oh, it's still good. It's still good. I'm not calling that one a flop. That was a good crepe right there. It's a little torn. Okay, see that? It's a little torn. But, eh, that's, that's good. That's going to be fine. That's not a flop. That one doesn't count as a flop. All right. Yeah, this broken one, see how it's torn the top? But look, underneath, it's okay. It kind of healed itself like Wolverine. Yeah. Oh. This is a beautiful crepe stack. 